Hello, Rooster Dad here. Just wanted to show you my uh, fixed blade knife collection. And I'm doing something a little different this time. I'm uh, filming off my Android because the kids aren't here to help me out with the other things. So I'm going to try this. I, I'm the first to admit that I am technologically challenged. So, um, yeah, this is my fixed blade collection. There's a couple of pieces that aren't in here because it was kind of a pain to get them out you know, from where they were, but uh, eh, some kind of neat stuff, nothing real high dollar, just pretty much uh, an eclectic group here, but uh, the higher value ones are over here, uh, obviously you know about my uh, Becker BK2, and I've got a uh, Air Force survival knife, now, I'm doing something here I swore I'd never do, I always want to use a tripod, because I hate it when people fumble around with one hand, but doggone it, I gotta do what I gotta do. Brand new, I haven't even cut myself with it yet, so, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's the uh, Air, Air Force survival knife from Ontario. Love that knife. My Condor Bush Lore. Love this one too. Uh, it's just a sweetheart. I can't wait to get this out to Yellowstone, do us some camping, and, uh, and put this to use. And the Becker. Uh, this one's kind of a neat little guy. And this was from Bud K. And it's it's a K-Bar knockoff. But it's pretty good quality for what it is. I think I paid 12 bucks for it or something like that. Real stack leather handle. Stainless steel blade. Nice. I, I really can't complain. Uh, Put together just pretty much like the uh, like the uh, regular ones are. Can't complain at all. This is a this is one that was made locally by a gentleman that's no longer with us. And <laughs> what is it with animals and YouTube? This is I think it was made from a leaf spring or something like that because it is heavy. It is a monster. A gentleman, I think his name was Jim Nardini. I bought it from his daughter. And she said she was really happy that uh, I was the one that bought it because figured I would appreciate it. But very nice, I mean, tough blade. Uh, that's probably a, easily a quarter inch thick. Um, kind of a basic handle, but full tang. And, you know... I think you could do just about anything with this darn thing. I wish that I had met the gentleman while he was alive. So that's that's kind of a a sad thing. Got my uh, old timer sharp finger. That's a newer one. And this guy here, I think, is a neat little blade. It's supposed to resemble something having been made from a uh, a file. However, I suspect that that was manufactured to look like that because it's stainless steel. And it says stainless on here somewhere very faintly. But I, unless I'm wrong, I don't think anyone makes uh, stainless steel, um, what do you call them, files. So I still like it. It's neat. It's sharp. Kind of a thick little guy. Pack of wood. <laughs> it's, it's just neat. I've carried it a few times. And these two from United. I just can't believe this thing is. This I would almost compare to the Becker. Because it's so thick. And this is stainless steel. It's heavy. And it's a dagger. And like I said, made by uh, United Cutlery. And I don't think they make them anymore. But I got this thing on Bud K for like, I don't know, 12 bucks? It was awesome, and it had a uh, sheath like this, but it's it's attached to my tack vest right now, so I didn't want to mess with that. But uh, then this one was about 15 and also, I don't think you can get these anymore. I think you can still get this one. I did a little bit of batoning with it. It, it did okay. Uh, not quite as thick, but uh, kind of a good camper. Gut hook or some kind of a hook on there. But great knives for the money. This one here is going to be a uh, bayonet from Argentinian Army. I think it was dated 1860 or something like that. But it's made 
of Solingen steel, so a very good quality. A couple of Kukri's. This one I got from Bud K. I just love it. It's a monster, and it's functional. Very nice. Look at how thick this thing is. It's insane, and I think this was only like 20 bucks. And I've sat there and just whacked at logs, and <laughs> it just takes them out. It doesn't hesitate one bit. A little rubber training knife. And this guy here, I think I had uh, confiscated it from one of the kids years ago. I don't know. Little neck knife got from Bud K. Rape whistle in included, just in case. A guy could hope, I guess. Of course, my luck, it wouldn't be <laughs> anybody that I'd want to get uh, raped by, but anyway. Uh, neat little Scottish dube. Bud K also, I think this was like 10 bucks. Excellent, excellent little thing. Of course, it's ornamental. It's not for actual use, I would say. But it's all steel, and... Really solid and just a neat knife. I have a friend that's Scottish, American, and I want to get him one just because. Yeah, him and his wife are classy folks. This one, okay, yeah. This is kind of a monster. Weighs about a pound and a half. I made this. This is my second attempt at a knife. Um, there was welding involved. This is regular mild steel. This is not any kind of a knife making steel or tool steel I just decided to see what I could do with it and a uh, diamond plate in there oh, it was just all on a whim kind of a tanto thing um, it's I still haven't finished it so I don't know if I do anything more with it I'll let you know uh, I should probably tell you now it's my desire to uh, make my own knives as a hobby and um, gosh so many folks on YouTube, like GI Custom and uh, Gavco, oh my god, these guys are just quite an inspiration to me. Uh, just a little camper that I got, probably Walmart. Uh, this is the AK-47 Bayonet. Got that from a friend. He owns a, a gun store in town. I think he charged me 15 bucks for that, and it's never been used. This thing is a monster, another BK or a Bud K find. Oh, hold on a second. It's huge. Absolutely huge. And I love it. I wasn't expecting this to be so big when I ordered it. I think it was about 16 bucks or so. Just a neat knife. Of course, I've never used it. A little D-handled Bowie. Kind of light duty. Couple here that I bought from these are timber rattlers. I bought them from the same lady that I bought uh, the this custom here from. She gave me a good deal. She was clearing out her inventory. Redneck toothpick. Here's a little dagger that I just love. It's a uh, it's made by United, and it's a boot knife or it also has a shoulder strap. This thing is solid. Stainless steel, blood groove, I, I just love it, it's great. Sharp as heck. Here's another thing I got a few years ago at a uh, one of the zombie meets, uh, Outbreak Omega 3, I think. It's, I think it's a Boker copy or something like that, made in China. Stainless steel, it's neat, I like it. It's, you know, it was inexpensive, but it's fairly good quality. Bud K. Tanto. Eh, the steel was nice, but I had to glue the handle back together. And then uh, Smith & Wesson Hunter Set. Hope nobody's getting motion sickness from my camera work. I apologize. I just I hate doing that. <laughs> was going to have it all done, but my son's gone, and uh, he was going to film it for me. And he met a girl, so he had to go, and, you know, we have our priorities, right? Anyways, this is 99% of my fixed knife collection. And there's a kitty cat. And I'm happy to share it with you. Please subscribe if you like what you see. Have a good one.